Hey guys, how's it going? Kuperian here. Today I want to give you guys a very interesting game of Battlegrounds, of course from my side as well. But some of these videos I really like to highlight the builds my opponents do. Because often enough we can't pull off these builds to the frequency that we face them. Think about it this way. When you play a game of Battlegrounds, you're playing one build, but you're playing against seven opponents. So it's much more likely that your opponent is going to come up with a more unique build than you will, even if you play as much as I do. So this is one of those. It is the craziest, without a doubt, the craziest bomb build I have ever seen. And, well, it wasn't just one round I had to go up against it. It was quite a few. So enjoy the duel. Yeah, beast and relics. Let's go. Jandis OPOP. Sign me up. Hey, my favorite commander is back. I am ready to get started. Wait. I'll let that pass. Because I want to flip for a different card next turn. I've got some fresh recruits for it. Yeah, like that one, for example. Fine. Not quite that one, but... See, I guess. It's fifty percent to win, fifty percent to tie. Rough battle. Pick yourself back up. Those are two pretty good cards, I'd say. This is a free believe. Jandis with a uh, token starter is extremely strong, yes. There's a few ways to take that one. That's an okay way. The worst hero, in my opinion. I mean, just look at the stats. Opinions don't matter that much for worst heroes. Opinions might matter for best heroes when there's like a new meta that's actually significant. statue of me for BlizzCon. Man, like, I wouldn't object.
Okay. We might lose this one, but I think I'm going to start the game with a 6. D2. I mean, I haven't played D2 in a while, but I plan to play it once more. I hope they will change a few things. At least fixing dupe bullshit, for example. And maybe a few things like charms, but I don't know. It's really hard for them to do that, like I recognize it. If they change anything, the diehards are like, You ruined my game! It's like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I loved playing with zero inventory spots to play optimally. That was great. It was so much fun to play Magic Find when people were literally just fucking duplicating the best items ever found. That was great. We loved that part about the game, right? There's definitely shit they probably should take a look at fixing. That's a great play. I can't wait to see this shake out. Okay, that's fine. That should hold up okay, I think. Small upgrade? That's a pretty pretty fair upgrade. How many death rattles? Looks like two. That's not so bad. Getting a kill with that dragon is such a big difference in power level. It's not great, but it's all right. Your power is strong, but didn't get much for it. But that's okay. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. That's not bad. Demon's not bad either, but we might save that for later. Okay. There we go. The fate of the world. Balance. Oh. Okay. Like that one either. Here's a gold for the trouble. 
Yeah, so this shit's like real balanced right here, dude. Okay. Uh, he ain't dead. He's not doing super well, but he ain't dead. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. I think I could use another dragon, and there's some pretty decent battle cries there. I'm mostly looking for Bran and Faceless guys. The mummy's not worth it anymore. I know. Hmm. Well, he's done. Nice work out there. Keep up the pressure. A good tactical choice. Yeah, let's do that. Where you're going with this? Better hire a recruit while you can. <laughs> that will outscale it quickly, so.
So many death rattles, Jesus. Oh, I don't have a lot of health left on these. I think I do very slightly pull ahead, though. the ghost, so there's some leeway here. And this guy got destroyed by... Really? Yeah, I think going to six... Oh, actually, there's no point in uh, holding, is there? And there's no point in holding. There is maybe a point in holding that one back, if I think I can win with just this, and I think I can. Why hold? If I get another Calicos or like a Bran, it would be worth it. Like, this isn't that big of a dragon, and we're on 6, so we'll, if we get Nadina, we have to sack a dragon anyway. There's uh, a lot of reasons to hold. We're against the Ghost. Do I think I'm going to lose versus that Ghost? No, I don't think so. Not even close. I'm at 27, so probably not dying in one turn only. Should probably play most of these first. A good tactical choice. Okay. Minus 25 ink. Well, the downside of minus 25 is we would be dead. The upside of minus uh, 25 is... <laughs> that's an easy plus 15% modifier on the view count on YouTube, right? Easy. God, that's a lot of mechs. <laughs> How does he have two? Yeah, Alex had one. Look how Baron's still alive. Spawns another Baron. Is this a fucking joke or what? Now and then. 
empty and it doesn't actually matter. I think it matters a bit here. You only need zap. Yeah. No zap. I'm gonna do that, I think. The random late game one, I think, is gonna be stronger. Well, I hope so anyway. Really like that. The build is new meta. Bomb the build. Can I please hit the damn Baron already? <sighs> the spawn happens last, of course it does. Okay, well we stopped a lot of mechs on that one. Hit the Baron, hit the Baron, hit the Baron and not the fish. Hit the Why are the death rattles going off? Jesus. It's only 32 to die. His Baron was literally a Neo from the Matrix. Literal, literally Neo. I don't think you guys understand. I think I played him three times and never attacked his Baron. Never. He only had one taunt each time. One taunt. I never attacked his Baron. <laughs> 